Hey, my name is Aubrey, and I'm so glad you're joining in with us for 21 Days of Prayer. Today, I want to talk to you about a principle that I not only believe can have an impact on these 21 days for you, but I actually believe it has the power to transform our lives. It's found in the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verse 6, and it says this. It says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Now, if you've been around church for very long, there's no doubt that you've heard this verse, but I think this whole verse hinges on two words, with thanksgiving. You see, gratitude is a simple yet profound way of approaching our relationship with God and the world around us. We all know that life can get tough sometimes, and it's easy to get caught up in the worries and the fears and the anxieties, but this scripture reminds us that we don't have to carry the weight of our problems alone. Instead, we can turn to God with our concerns, offering them up with prayer and petition. But here's the beautiful part. The scripture emphasizes to do so with thanksgiving. This means even in the midst of our challenges, we can think, find things to be grateful for. It's actually an invitation to shift our focus from what's going wrong to what's going right, from the lack that we find ourselves in to what we already have. A few months ago, I was talking to a friend who lives in another city and he was asking how things were going for me and for our family. And I quickly began to dive into the, the stresses and the frustrations of life. And he stopped me and he said, but what are the good things that are happening right now? And as I began to list a few of those things, it was incredible how all of a sudden by just doing that, my mood began to shift. You see, gratitude, it has this amazing power to change our perspective. When we take a moment to count our blessings, it's like a breath of fresh air to our soul. Suddenly the weight of our worries become a little lighter and we can find comfort knowing that we're not alone in this, that God is faithful and if he's done it before, he can do it again. So the next time you feel, find yourself feeling overwhelmed or anxious or even feeling a little down, take a moment to pause. Maybe even close your eyes and offer up those concerns to God. Share your heart with him, knowing that he cares for you deeply. And as you do that, think about the things that you're grateful for. Maybe the people who love you and the opportunities you've been given. Maybe even the beauty in nature or even the small joys that brighten your day every day. Express your thankfulness to God, not just for what he can do, but who he is, a loving, caring, faithful presence in our lives. And as we make gratitude a habit, something incredible starts to happen. We become more aware of all the blessings around us, the big and the small. We start to see the hand of God working in the little details of our lives. And even on the tough days, our hearts are filled with hope and trust in his plans for us. So let's embrace the power of gratitude. Let's not allow worries and fears to consume us, but instead turn them over to God, knowing that he hears you and he cares for you. And as we do so, let's remember to th say thank you, not just in our words, but in our hearts for all the goodness that we've been blessed with. Let's pray. God, today we come to you just so grateful for the opportunity that we have to be able to gather in your presence, to be able to come to you and be able to speak to you and, and bring our concerns and our worries and our anxieties and just lay them at your feet. Thank you for being a God that loves us and cares for us that much. God, I pray right now that you would that you would open our eyes to all the miracles that you're doing around us, all the little things, all, of, all the big things and the little things in our lives. God, I pray that you would just open our eyes to that. Let us cultivate this heart of gratitude. Let us just be thankful for every little blessing. And as we do, God, I know that you're gonna continue to bless us, that you're gonna continue to move in our lives in and through us, God. I believe that you're gonna use us today and I believe that you're gonna use this time to unlock something in our hearts. So thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you for being such a good, good father. In Jesus' name, amen.